welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our die set stitched umbrella. So let's go ahead and check it out. This die set comes with all of the pieces to make a super cute umbrella. It also helps you make a shaker umbrella too, which we're going to be showing you how to do that in this video. And you can see how you can mix and match pieces. So you could have the stitched umbrella by itself, or you can layer this really cool frame part over it, which is the one that helps you make the shaker. And we also have a handle for the umbrella that has some really cool decorative elements. So you'll see there, there's the main handle, and then there's the decorative part that's the part you actually hold onto with your hand. And there's also a little decorative part so that you can do the very top of the umbrella too. So you can mix and match the colors and really have a lot of fun with it. This die set also has some really cool smiley faces in it. So I like to die cut these from the umbrella. So we'll hold that in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and now you'll see that we have this cool little die cut smiley faces. And there's two different styles of those smiley faces and they are so super cute. So first up, we're gonna be making a shaker card. So we're gonna take out the spring fling paper and we're gonna be playing with the Julia paper. So we're gonna have the blue one, the blue B side and the blue A side. And then we're also gonna take out some paper from Spiffy Speckles, which is the ripe banana, which is that really cool yellow speckle. We're gonna be die cutting these with different stitch rectangles. So that's this cross stitch rectangle and here we're gonna be using a standard stitch rectangle on that beautiful blue flowered paper. And we're also gonna die cut a stitch rectangle, one of the outside in stitch rectangles out of the blue B side of that. And we're also gonna die cut the umbrella, the main stitched umbrella base out of that same blue paper so that everything coordinates really nicely. We're also gonna take that same die and we're gonna die cut a piece of acetate. And this is gonna become the window part of our shaker card. So it's nice clear acetate. It's gonna look really, really cool on top of this umbrella. Now to create the shaker, we're gonna cut the frame part of this umbrella die and we're gonna die cut it a bunch of times from narwhal cardstock. And we're gonna stack all of these pieces together to give us the height for our little shaker bits to move in. But first we're gonna cut our handle out of some narwhal cardstock and also out of that awesome silver sparkle cardstock which is gonna look so pretty. And then we can start to stack all of our pieces. So we're gonna add some liquid glue and then stack the piece on top and keep repeating to get that awesome height. We're doing about five pieces here, but you can add as many as you would like to make sure that your shaker pieces are gonna shake inside. Now we're gonna take a powder tool and run it along all of these edges just to remove any excess stickiness that might be there from that glue. So that powder is gonna remove all that excess stickiness and make sure that all of the pieces inside our shaker are gonna shake really well. We'll add a little more liquid glue to the back of this frame, and then we can attach that blue umbrella base to the back, just like that. It's gonna look so super nice. Then we're gonna add some of those decorative sparkly elements. So we're going to decorate the very top of the umbrella there, that point with the piece that we die cut from that silver sparkle cardstock. And then we're also gonna have this add the sparkly handle onto the main handle of the umbrella. And you'll see that just adds this little extra special something, that paper is just so pretty. Next, we'll take one last frame and we're gonna add some liquid glue to that and we're gonna attach that to the acetate piece creating the window. So we'll have that acetate window but we'll still have that really pretty gray frame going on as well. We're also gonna run the powder tool inside that shaker umbrella piece just one more time before we add all of our little pieces. And here you can add anything. You could add sequins, little seed beads. You can see what your local craft store has. In this case, we're gonna add lots of different things. So we have some cool little sequins that are star-shaped. We also have some seed beads. We're gonna mix around with the colors too, doing yellows and blues and grays to go along with the color scheme of the whole card. And you can see just how pretty that's looking. I like putting the little seed beads in there because I feel like the beads really help the sequins move around in the card. So a couple of little seed beads will really get your shaker shaken. <laughs> so now we'll add a little liquid glue all along the frame and then we can attach our window piece on top and our shaker is all formed. Next, we're gonna start layering all of the different pieces of the cards here. So we're gonna take that really beautiful paper there and layer it onto a mermaid card base. And then we're gonna layer the rest of our pattern paper. So we're gonna add that beautiful yellow piece onto the blue, and then we can take that whole piece and put some foam tape on the back and layer that onto the card. And that little pop of foam really makes it look super nice. We've die cut a stitched banner from the Fancy Wavy Banners and we're gonna stamp the Feel Better that's in the Wavy Saying stamp set on there in some black licorice ink. And then we're gonna add our handle to the umbrella, add a little liquid glue to the top and we can layer that whole shaker umbrella piece right onto that. 
Then next up, we're going to start layering everything onto the card base. So we'll add some liquid glue to that beautiful stitch banner. I love all of the different layers of stitching. And then some more liquid glue onto our shaker umbrella. And I love how that banner is kind of offset and the umbrella is tilted to the side. I think it looks so pretty. And last but not least, a tiny little heart out of some mermaid cardstock. And you can see just how cute this card is. It's so sweet. I think it would really make someone smile. It would help them feel better when they were having a tough day. So for one last finishing touch, we're going to take out some lawn trimmings here and tie a little bow. And I love these because they're made out of hemp, which means that it's really nice and sturdy. Um, and it really holds the bow shape really, really well. So we're going to add a little glue dot to the umbrella and then add that bow on there. And then we can trim off any of the excess. And it really just adds some nice sweetness to the card. And so here you can see all of those pieces shaking inside, just how cool it is. I absolutely love it. Next, we're going to be using the umbrella in a little bit of a different way, and we're going to be recreating a card by Melissa Stinson, so thank you so much, Melissa. And we're going to take out the spiffy speckles here, and I love this paper so much because it's kind of like a plain cardstock with a little extra something. And we're going to pick one of the white pieces that has the aqua speckles on it, and we're going to die cut that with a fancy scalloped rectangle, and I love that beautiful fancy edge that it has. We're also going to take out some mermaid cardstock at five and a half by four and a quarter and a card base of the same size. And so we're going to layer that mermaid cardstock onto the white card base. And then we'll layer the beautiful fancy rectangle there on top of that. And so I love seeing the mermaid popping through the little holes, the little eyelet detail in that fancy scalloped rectangle. We've die cut the umbrella base out of some mermaid cardstock and the umbrella frame out of some peacock cardstock. And then we're also going to go ahead and die cut some more pieces for this. So we're going to use some narwhal and storm cloud cardstock for the handle and also for the little holding piece of the handle. And here we're going to decorate the umbrella a little bit differently. So we're using the inside parts of that frame and we're adding that onto this umbrella base. And by doing this, you get to keep the really cool stitch detail, but you still get to add some color to the umbrella. So you could either use the frame and do it that way as we did earlier, or you can drop in these pieces like this, which I think looks really, really cool. And it's a nice way to get a different look out of the umbrella. We'll add some liquid glue and then add the handle right on there. And then we can add the darker handle bottom piece. I never know what to call that. I'm sure it has a specific name, but we're going to add that to the very bottom. And I love that extra detail that it has. We're also going to add the little decorative piece to the very top of the umbrella. And that really finishes it off and makes it look like a real umbrella. So next we're going to take out a bunch of different dies. And first we're going to take out the Happy Hatchling die, which has this cute little chick. And he's meant to be coming out of an egg, but in this case we're going to have him cutting out of the umbrella. We're also just going to cut a little piece of black cardstock, and that's so that we can layer it behind his eyes to add some color to his eyes. So we'll just add a little liquid glue right around, and we can take that piece that we freehand cut and just layer that just like that. And you'll see now when we turn him over, his eyes are all colored in. And then we're going to add that little beak cut from fake tan cardstock. Next up, we're going to be die cutting some different flowers. So first, we're going to die cut Spring Sprig out of some cilantro cardstock. And Spring Sprig has some flowers and flower centers. And we're going to die cut those from sugar plum cardstock and also some sunflower cardstock. Then we're going to layer all of these pieces together. So we're going to go in super fast motion and we're going to layer those purple flowers onto the little circles coming off of those vines. And you can see just how pretty and springy it looks. It's just so gorgeous. So then we can add a little liquid glue to the centers and then add those little flower centers. And those little pieces are tiny, but they're so worth it because they look so nice. We're also going to die cut some tulips from the Little Flowers die set, also out of some cilantro cardstock and then some guava for the tulips. And we're going to layer those onto their stems as well. So we'll add a little drop of liquid glue with the glue tube and layer those flowers right on there. Next, you guys are going to see where I made a little mistake. I shouldn't have put the handle on the umbrella yet because I want to put the little chick in the umbrella. And I didn't realize it until right at this moment. that There was no way I could kind of scoot him inside. So what I did was I just ripped off that umbrella handle, put it off to the side, and I can attach that on there later. But now we're going to take all these pieces and put it in the umbrella. And I love this idea that Melissa had. It really has this really awesome kind of vintage feel to it. And it's just so cute. So we're going to add the little chick in there. And then we can add the little flowers. So I'm adding some little liquid glue to the base of those flowers and then tucking them inside of the umbrella to create this really cool springy arrangement. 
I really had such a blast making this card and just, I felt like I was flower arranging or something. It's so much fun. And so add, as we add all of these on there, then next we're gonna add our handle on there. And to do that, this time I'm gonna take the chick and the umbrella and place it on the card, kind of see how high we want that handle to come up. And you'll see, we're gonna kind of fake the handle. So we're gonna fake that it's coming out from the chick's head so that the handle looks longer than it actually is. Then we'll go ahead and die cut a simple wavy banner from some mermaid cardstock. And we're gonna use that wavy saying stamp set again, which is one of my favorites. And we're gonna stamp out love you lots in some black licorice ink. So we'll just pick up that stamp and then stamp that out and you'll see just how cute that's looking. I've added a ton of foam squares to the back of this whole arrangement and we're gonna attach that right onto the card. And then we'll add some foam squares, just leaving one out around there towards, kind of towards the right. And we're gonna tuck that right under the umbrella there. And I like the handle kind of overlapping a little bit. I think it looks really, really cute that way. And now this card is done. It's almost an entirely die cut card, just the one little bit of stamping. And it's so super cute and happy and a fun way to mix and match a lot of dies from your stash. Next, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And first up, we have a shaker card by Lynette. And I love the awesome shaker umbrella with those cute little hearts on the inside and how she mixed and matched her pattern papers. Here, this card by Rebecca uses a triple color scheme for the umbrella, which I think looks so super cool. Here, I love how Audrey layered some pattern paper behind the umbrella with those rainbow colors. It looks so pretty on that white backdrop. Here's the card by Melissa that inspired us to make ours today. And then here is a gorgeous card by Yanea. I love that beautiful inked background that she created. It's so beautiful. And I also love how she did some clear heat embossing over that umbrella to make it look like it's nice and shiny. It's so amazing. Here, Megan got super creative and she turned her umbrella into a little frog. It looks like one of those umbrellas for little kids. It's so cute and sweet. And then here, I love this card by Shari and that beautiful watercolored rainbow umbrella. And this card by Kay is so gorgeous. I love her gray, blue, and purple color palette. It's so stunning. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with Stitched Umbrella, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.